Okay, right now we have with us here a bunch of guys from outside Nagaland and I would like to request you to introduce yourselves and get to know one another and the work you do. We start off with... Hi, I'm Timothy Gomez. Um, they call me Timo Gomez and I'm a film student and a profession in filmmaking. So. You are from which place? Uh, from the big island of Hawaii. Um, the place, the land of the hula. Oh, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, my name is Shine Pinau. Um, I work with you through the mission, and I'm also a freelance photographer. My name is Seva. I'm a journalist. I do movie reviews and, uh, and I edit books. Okay, uh, we have uh, a group of artists here from outside Nagaland. And specifically, could you tell us why you are here? Uh, we're here to uh, teach photography um, and video and writing at uh, a workshop organized by Powercom. Powercom from the Union Baptist Church, That's right. Kohima. Okay. Yeah, bit into your life and uh, your work. Can you give us some of uh, the experiences you have had in photography or what do you do specifically uh, about photography? Our team works with the communications team and we basically we publish magazines of different YWAM ministries that are um, happening in Southeast Asia and we also do graphic designs and uh, we do um, photographies and uh, we also run a week-long workshop and we uh, talk about public speaking, writing, editing, graphic designs, photography, etc. Back to you, Seven, and um, you were saying you talk about movie reviews and song, uh, uh, music reviews. So how do you find that line of work? I mean, like as a young person working in that area, supposing uh, you were to uh, encourage another person it's good because I still get paid for doing what I love, you know, I still watch movies. I mean, I always love watching movies, so it's a very easy job for me to do. And it's not something that can be really taught in a class or a course. So if someone loves to watch movies and they can write, they're pretty much a movie reviewer, you know. So I think most people would be very appealed by it, but there's no money in it, okay. So uh, if you want to look for money and all that, it's not possible, you know. So I used to do music reviews also and Hollywood trends. So just like basically Hollywood movies as such. Yeah, so I, I did that for about six years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Music meaning what type of music? Oh, anything. Anything that's just like famous at that time, pop, rock, you know. So, and because it's like Western music, I didn't have to like go to shows and all that. So I wasn't like reviewing concerts or like performances. It was mainly like albums or uh, trends about an artist, the award shows mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Supposing a journalist or a young person interested in music were to write something about a local artist, then how should he go about it? Basically, try to focus on introducing that person, you know, because you have to assume that um, the world doesn't know about them, you know, and especially Nagaland, because when you're talking about like a Naga artist, you almost have to explain where Nagaland is. I mean, like most people don't know that it's a, it's a part of India. Um, so. I think you have to introduce the person and kind of probably explain um, how they are similar to the scene out there and yet how they're still different, you know? So like what's unique about them? And because Nagas already are more Western than the other parts of India, they have an advantage, you know? Most Nagas already, they like grow up in churches and they have access to, you know, uh, choirs and other guys who have the same, same musical interest, like playing, playing guitar, you know. So they have a, a lot of stuff to already work with. Yeah, so. Well, back to the music scene in our, in our state is uh, really growing up, it's becoming vibrant, and we do really need a lot of uh, professional people involved in the music industry over here. I guess uh, Tim, Timo is one guy who has been working in the music industry, and uh, can you share with us some of your experiences in music videos or...? Um, well, so I've been working, uh, I worked with GVS and um, a lot of, uh, so GVS? GVS is Global Virtual Studios, okay. it's based in Hawaii, um, and I've done with some, uh, worked with some professional film crews and future films and 
editing jobs. Music videos, I have done too, videography and filmmaking and all that kind of stuff. The main reason is because it's a passion, a passion I have, um, not just, uh, not like a job. It, it's something I love doing and something I've studied for a while and enjoyed studying. And in a way, it's my, my little vent of expression for who I am. So, but uh, video is awesome. <laughs> Like a lot of artists out there, but we, we really, they, they are not able to find avenues to be able to market themselves or uh, uh, their music. So can we discuss something about this, like uh, in your experiences working in the press or in the uh, media field? Could you give us some suggestions or some guidelines? Um, I think Naga should take pride in uh, what they do and be a little bit more open to like promoting themselves. Um, and probably like trying a little bit harder to go outside. And I think now, even in India, uh, there are a lot more avenues for uh, like rock stars to like um, perform and they get invited. Even in uh, Kohima, the Hanbal festival, you know, uh, to go over there. But it would be really good if um, on one level, the fans can do a lot. You know, I think because many Nagas uh, live outside Nagaland. You know, and there are many NCFs in in the big city. So if, if they can talk to their friends about about Naga artists, that'd be like a really good thing. And b basically, not having the artist like bear the burden of having to like support themselves. You know, if they can be freed of that, and if they can be like agencies or even if studios can set up a department for uh, publicity, you know, and, and really work on their behalf, that'd be really good. You know, so basically, just freeing up the artist and not having them have to worry about raising their own money, either for a re a recording or for publicity. It'll be really good, you know. And I think the internet is a very good um, avenue that's been, it's a bit unconventional. Maybe it's a little bit too new for Nagaland, but in the future it's going to be a very big deal. I mean, these days you can just uh, like cut a song, make a video and just put it up there. And just by word of mouth, it can become really big. I mean, it's like a gambling, but you know, it's, it's still a good option. It's script, and here comes the brainstorming ideas of what we want to shoot. You figure out, okay, this is what we want. You get all your actors, or if you need actors, you get all the arrangements right. You get all the equipment, you get all your lighting. You plan it out, you put it on paper. So most likely, what you do in post-production is not going to be anything like you do in pre-production. And then um, once you do that, print it out, export, and then after that, there's marketing. But um, studio recording is always nice, but for a song, but for acting and all that kind of stuff. Um, I would like to ask uh, Timo and uh, Shine about uh, if you have any word of advice or suggestions to give to young people who are interested in your line of work. Okay, first suggestion would be that you need to love doing it and it needs to be something that uh, um, nobody's forcing you to do, something that you're just naturally interested in and be like, you want to do it. That's your fuel and that's, when, that's what's going to get you to uh, you know, achieve excellence. Um, the other thing is just to go out and do it. Whatever resources you have, you might not have that nice big camera that they have, but just use whatever you can and just you know go out, do it and hands-on doing it is like the best way to learn and the best way to experience stuff. Um, courses, of course, you need to do courses for the more of the practical logistics and understanding it more. Um, and then that would be also networking. Another big thing for artists is uh, constructive criticism. That's actually one of the hardest things to do. You'll make something, but, and you'll be like, this is mine, you ask somebody what they think about it and they might not say what you want them want to hear and it can like be like a stab in the heart and you're like ah oh, whatever you're wrong it's, it's perfect but um the best thing to get excellent in anything is to actually be humble and listen to people's advice um they might not be right but you get multiple people's advice but yeah i would say the biggest thing is the passion for it to fuel you to do it and then to see what you can do logistically to go out there and learn more that for the resources you don't have and then of course doing it constructive criticism asking people humbling yourself and then networking so. mm. that's totally relevant to artists and to people in our field uh, something from you shine sure um you know photography as as any other startup businesses it's um it's a very difficult job 
to be able to achieve excellence, um, I would agree with Timo, just to be passionate about your work. You have to love your work. If you don't love, and, and you, ha you need to show that passion, that work, uh, that passion through, through, um, through your work, and people would see that. Um, and the other thing that I want to really encourage is um, don't be pulled in only by the glamour aspect of um, uh, photography. Um, you need to work hard, you need to be original, you need to be creative to uh, get to that level. And, uh, and also go learn to hang out with other photographers uh, to feel your passion. Um, and uh, go out, um, with, you know, learn stuff from, from photographers, see how they work, how to interact with people, and that way you, you, could, you could become better. And um, not every photographer are necessarily good at business, um, so sometimes um, business side and you know your work should go together mm -hmm. and um, um, you need to sell yourself you need to be able to sell your work um, so um, I would encourage that don't just stick with your your um, photography skills don't just let it stop there but to go out and also uh, join some few classes where you could learn some business skills to be able to sell your work well thank you all for what you have shared today thank you for your time Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.